So hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to talk about the erosion effect. It's a very beautiful effect inside of Ableton Live. And I would like to have it in Bitwig. Unfortunately, Bitwig doesn't have it. So I opened the manual and uh, tried to figure out the way how to reproduce it in Bitwig using the grid. And I think I managed uh, to create a pretty decent copy and also with some nice or at least one very nice modification. So let's listen to it first in Ableton. Well, first the audio without. This is just a little drum fill. Now with the erosion effect. Well, it sounds almost uh, a bit uh, bit crusher ish but uh, not quite the same. And as you can see, we have three modes. Now it's on sine wave. So now a sine wave is uh, modulating the signal and we can also switch it to white noise, which basically is a stereo noise source or noise, which is mono. And in case of noise and white noise, white, not white noise, white noise, uh, we have the ability to control the, the Q factor of the filter. And with noise, it sounds a bit like this. So that's it uh, from Ableton. Very nice. So uh, here I have the same. So here I have the same loop. Now the erosion effect. It sounds a little bit like, I would say. AM, FM modulation, but, but not quite. It's a tiny bit different. And it actually works a little bit different. So let's find an effects grid. And what it actually does, it takes the signal, copies it, delays it, and modulates the delay in audio rate, then either with the sine wave or to two different noise sources. So now what we need here is well, obviously a delay, if it's a delay effect, then um, a sine oscillator and also a noise source. Then an input selector button to switch between the inputs and then we connect the sine wave and the noise to the two different inputs. Now from here we need a modulation output and before that I think we also need a gain which allows us to lower the signal amplitude uh, because the the modulation amount is quite uh, tricky to achieve so well we turned out to zero apply some modulation i think that much should be enough you should probably never go above this if you want to have a realistic reproduction of the uh, erosion effect and then we will adjust the gain here to get uh, the amount of modulation that we need so the audio path needs to be set up as well. So we connect this and here we create a bend, uh, a bend, a blend knob. So now, um, now let's see. Now we can hear something is happening. Uh, but the sine wave, I don't really know on which frequency it is now, so we need to do something so that we can change this. So just take a value, connect it, and increase the amplitude here.
So this sounds already quite similar. Cool, it's a bit tricky to find the right tune, uh, the right frequency, well, to match it exactly, but uh, otherwise we are actually quite close. Now let's switch over to the noise. And in fact, the noise is being filtered, so let's grab an XP filter and put that in between. And then, yeah, use a two pole or four port pole bandpass, and I don't want it to be key tracked. And yeah, now let's see how that sounds. Can't hear much because I think the noise source is significantly lower in volume, in amplitude, so let's crank it up here a little bit. I don't know, maybe it's ma it makes more sense to use a pink noise. Let's compare that real quick. Okay, I think, yeah, the noise match is not perfect. Maybe we could play around with this, um, especially with the amplitude modulation, uh, with the, sorry, with the modulation amount. And pre maybe, you know, adding some initial delay. But now kind of to the nice little twist that this, or the nice little trick this thing has up its sleeve, uh, I have a, a second instance of it. I mean, it's pretty identical. It's an, I built it before, but it does the same thing. Now, the interesting thing this thing can do, it follows uh, the key. For example, if you're playing an instrument and you have an instance of the effects grid with this um, erosion effect on it, you can just tell the sine wave uh, to follow the key. And then you will always get a harmonic result out of it. Now, just let's let's listen to it. Um, I think I have muted it, yeah. Okay, this was without. Now I turn it on. So yeah, it can be very interesting in a melodic context as well. And maybe, well, one thing is still missing uh, when I think about it. Well, the, the white noise, uh, this is relatively simple. Uh, this noise source is already stereo, so we can su just uh, switch that. However, uh, the delay uh, cannot be modulated with a le left-right signal. So we have to simply duplicate uh, the modulators, uh, duplicate the delay, grab a, um, a stereo split, and now get individual outputs for the left and the right channel. I'll remove the second modulator, and here we need to modulate this one. It was dot one eight, right? Yeah. Okay. And now we need a a mixer.
where we take the left and the right channel and merge this together. And that's it. I hope you like your new erosion effects, you like the tutorial, and uh, yeah, see you next time.